Hello guys, hope you're good, hope you're well. Welcome to the first vlog, the YouTube, of what happens in the run-up to a photo shoot. So we are gonna be running a photo shoot for six guys uh, in one week's time, so seven days on the 27th of May. I will also be doing one after. Um, and I thought this time I will show you what goes into a week out of a photo shoot. So the dieting and the hard work has been done, mostly. Uh, we have one day left of the normal dieting phase and then peak week starts six days out. So we're gonna be running through all the trials and tribulations that we do, such as water loading, carb manipulation, talking about how we change the food, change the stresses, um, and everything that goes into a week's worth of prep for the photo shoot, tanning included, and all of those fun bits. So keep your eyes peeled, keep watching, and uh, have a look at what happens. So with the cardio from what we always try and do as we come into peak week is we try and make sure that we've already ticked off most of the work that we could do, most of the cardio, most of the fat loss that we need to do. So what was happening now, is on my final day of normal dieting before peak week, we're starting to taper that cardio because we're trying to bring down that stress. So whilst we're still trying to look for output, whilst we're still trying to look to put, uh, sweat out electrolytes, sweat out water, whilst we're still trying to create an output to keep us in a deficit for most of this, we're needing to reduce intensity. So we're trying to reduce the stress on the body, the mind, so that we're starting to manipulate the inflammation that we hold and make sure that we're not too stressed. So I've got about, an hour and a half cardio work up to do this, uh, this coming week. Again, most of the hard work we've done on the cardio, but we're just staying in that heart rate zone, we're just staying in those sections to make sure that we're pulling that cardio down, pulling the stress down, and then in turn pulling the inflammation down on my body to make it work. So something we're doing a week out from the photo shoot is taking all the stress out. So I mentioned it in the cardio section. We are off to Akasana Spa um, for like a spa twilight evening of relaxing, a little bit of sauna, steam room, getting rid of some of the water from our body. But the main thing is now is that we're in a position where we are literally on stress relief. We've got training to do still. We're obviously still dieting, but we're tapering into the end. So we just keep going, keep pulling the stress out. This isn't necessarily something everyone can do always, but if you can do it, then it's a really good thing to do, whether it's going and sitting in a local sauna, a local steam room, just something that takes your mind off of what you've been doing for a long period of time and giving you that reset. So it's Sunday, we're six days away from the photo shoot and water manipulation has started alongside carb loading. We are on eight liters today, um, loads of water going in, as you can see, filling them up and it's bottoms up. It is Monday, so we are now five days out from the shoot. I'm currently going through the rest of the guys' photos, they're checking photos, their stats, and just adjusting their daily plans for the week ahead. Um, then I'll be getting on, hitting some cardio, getting the sessions done. Um, so keeping myself busy five days out, it can be quite a tough uh, mentality. Um, obviously tiredness is starting to set in. I had a real early night last night. Um, obviously lack of food and stuff is starting to come to play as we get that condition. Um, but getting that work done is really, really helpful to staying on track, to staying focused, to staying progressive and just making sure we're not getting like bored and therefore in an option where cheating and stuff like that is going to be easier or not doing the things that we need to do. That being said, today is six litres of water today, so uh, day two of the water manipulation, we are about to finish 1.5 down and then get our heads back in so the guys check in. That is a wrap on peak week workout number one, uh, four days out, so that means you've only got two workouts left before the shoot uh, wrapped up. I am gonna hit some poses, uh, check in with my coach, and uh, keep following. We are hitting some steps. So we are now on Wednesday, so we got three sleeps, three days out. Um, nothing spectacular today going on. Um, peak week workout, uh, low carb day today, so back on the lower side today. And before we just build up tomorrow slightly and then peak 
load on Friday. Uh, two litres of water, so we've been holding the water back um, so far today. So it's about 10 o'clock, uh, early start to get training and cardio done this morning. Ah, hair removal cream. Bit of a weird one, bit of a, something that people don't always feel comfortable with. Um, removing of that hair just gets rid of all the shadows and stuff like that and helps to seal that lean definition on legs particularly. My hair's pretty fair on my arms, so I won't do my arms. Um, but anyone like the chest and back and stuff like that where it's covering all that definition of muscle, then it is gonna hinder how we look on uh, camera. So we went and picked up one of these little beauties. So that's gonna be the mission for today, three days out. Hair removal, tan in two days time, uh, shoot in three days time. So, so the idea here is that we're depleting energy stores, we're depleting glycogen, we're depleting those stuff so that when we load, with the carbohydrates then it's going to be much more effective and efficient in the loading phase which is why we then spike carbohydrates before like a sporting event or a photo shoot so that the muscles hold that glycogen they hold them uh, or they hold the glycogen and the water at the muscle sites which then in turn makes us look much more pumped much more fuller much more rounder and then therefore technically makes us look bigger so that's why we do it um it's a little bit challenging but it's all good fun and we get rid of that hair we get the tan we get the shadows and we smash our shoot so Guys, peace out. We've got two more days of vlogging to come uh, before the big, big day. Hey gang, it is Thursday. Two sleeps to go. Water's been coming down. The food has been up and down and riding away. A lot of the guys are having very different weigh-ins, very different progress checks and stuff like that now where we're managing stress. People that have done it before with can take a little bit deeper, a little bit darker in terms of the place they're prepared to get to. Um, but more importantly, we've got a lot of things going on so we have to be able to handle the stress manage the workload, actual work and stuff like that. So the guys today are doing their last workouts. I just finished my last workout. Most of us on our last day of work with limited water, so around about one liter of water um, to go in only. Um, so that's gonna be fun. I've got 10 clients in today, um, including some nutrition coaching. So a little bit of a struggle today, probably the hardest day, um, because on the Friday we don't do anything. So we get a bit of a carb reload. So tomorrow I'll take you through some of the foods that I get to eat but we'll get a carb reload, we'll get lots of food going in on the Friday uh, with just basically steps, no training, no cardio, complete stress management, we've got a few errands to run. Guys, we are now one day out, it is Friday. We are getting the food in, so we've got a lovely little high carb day today. All the clients and everyone will be uh, dosing up on carbohydrates. We have no, well, very limited water, 500 mil, so that's a little bit of a slog. However, when your first meal of the day is gonna consist of rice cakes and jam, that's when you know you're in a good place. So we're gonna get these all loaded up and we're gonna get these down. So as you can see by the scruffy barnet, the haircut's done, we're back home now. The suitcase has been packed, locked and loaded, ready for holiday. Everything is packed up and ready and waiting for tomorrow. Um, all that's left to be done now is relax, chill, get tanned and uh, turn up tomorrow. Cool. the guys have started the shooting is in process the other guys are now pumping up we are on the way we'll probably be about just over an hour of doing this stuff um, and then it will be my turn after that so here's what they're doing That is the third shoot wrapped up. So the 27th of May, that's 17 unique individuals who have gone through the game plan shoot process and are about to get some incredible images. They are done. The pressure is off me on that side and now the pressure is on for me and it will be my personal shoot, which we are about to get started. Guys, that is a wrap. Our shoot is done. Beth and I have smashed it, which is a little surprise for everyone. Um, and we are gonna go and eat some Nando's, have a few drinks, and then we are getting ready to go on holiday. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you're interested in going for your own game plan shoot after seeing this entire week's worth of process, we are running phases in August, October, and November of the rest of 2023. I'd love you to be on it. I know you've watched it, I know you're interested, so drop me a message and we'll get you on the other side.